All right, here we go. With bridge opened, we are going to rename some images. Select the tree, hold down the shift, select the rapid locksmiths and shoe repairs, and the fish. And you can see that these names are not great. XID, you're never going to find them. And for here, we want to name them what they're for. So you can either work along with me or watch these instructional videos in the leisure of your own home. Okay. Now I'm going to rename them. And when I want to rename a bunch of images, and I don't want to click on each individual image, I can go Tools in Bridge, go to Tools, Batch, Rename. And then it gives me, I have option of, say, four different fields. All I need to do is say, exercise five, that's what we're working on, and then maybe an underscore and a number. So I'm going to say two digits, or I can even do it one digit, but I don't want to put the underscore right there. And you can see that it's ex5 underscore one. The current file name is this long thing, it doesn't make any sense, and it will process three files. I hit rename and it does it automatically. Now we have one, two, and three. The other file we have is Harkoni Gardens as a smart object. And then we have three that look very similar that when put together are panorama. All right? Okay, where do you guys want to start? Do you have a particular image? I want to start with the fish. Okay, let's start at the fish. Now this already has the Death Star. It already has that little icon that says, I was edited in camera raw. This one does not, and this one does, and this one also has a little icon that looks cropped. So let's go here, we'll start here. With the JPEG, to open it in camera raw, you usually right click open in camera raw. Because this file has previously been edited in camera raw, if you double click on it, it will open there. Let me resize our window. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the base in basic, pull down this little pull down menu and hit reset camera raw defaults. You want everything to read at zero. After that's done, let's talk about what we could do to make this image better. The first thing I would do is the white balance. And let's take a look. Auto kind of makes it green. Custom is going to allow us to maybe warm up the image a little bit and make sure that it doesn't go green. To preview, you can hit P on and off. It may be a little too yellow, so I'm going to come back a little bit. For the exposure, the exposure affects the middle part of the histogram or the midtones. So I'm going to drag that down just a little bit to give the image a little more depth and density. Contrast, I am not going to affect here. I'm going to affect in the next tab over. Highlights opens this part of the histogram, not the whites, but the highlights next part in. And I can bring this up a little to have the highlights in the fish become a little more prominent. The shadows will open up some of the shadows in the fish. When you drag it to the right, it will show you more detail. If you drag it to the left, it will darken the image. So I'm not sure. I think that not too much needs to be done. Whites, if I drag it to the whites, uh, to the right, the whites will be very hot. If I drag it to the left, it can begin to look a little too gray. So let's kind of find a happy medium. This is affecting this part of the histogram. Black is affecting the very end of the histogram. To drag to the right for less black, drag to the left for more black values. And you can see the histogram moving, okay? So when you do this, you want to be looking at the image, but you also want to see how it is affecting the histogram, because if you're not sure what to do, the histogram will tell you. If you have a bunch of 
if it looks like this, your histogram looks like this, before you do any editing, it's gonna tell you, you have got some major clipping going on here. You have all of this information, and then most of your information is in the deep shadows and black. You have a highlight uh, shadow clipping warning and a highlight clipping warning. What this says is if you don't adjust this, you will clip all of this information and it will go to zero, zero, zero. And if you look in the RGB values, meaning it will go pure black, which is not what you want when you're working with photographs. So I'm gonna take that up and you'll see the blue warnings go away. In order to get the red highlight clipping to go away, I can bring down this value. Okay. You will always have a little bit of highlight clipping and a little bit of shadow clipping and like specular highlights or very, very deep shadow areas. Now, my goal with this one is to give it a little more punch. And I can do that with the clarity. I drag the clarity up. And what that does is increases the mid-tone contrast. I'm gonna zoom up to 100 and hit the uh, letter P. So the before and after, before and after. If you think it needs some contrast adjustments, you can go to the next tab and play with some of the presets or go in and adjust the histogram. I'm gonna go to just medium contrast, looks pretty good. All right, so for this fish image, I just want you to play with the basic window. White balance, exposure, and a little bit of clarity. And when you're done, hit done.